This is Sarah, and this spring of 2018 I am working on a series of mechanical and electronic, what am I gonna say, augments? Yes, that are wearables, and they are meant to sense and indicate female arousal. So this means that I'll be creating a bunch of different modules that I'm going to actually wear on my body that will tell you whether or not I'm turned on. Not that anyone needs to know that, but uh, <laughs> the whole point of this project is to sort of kind of normalize a general dialogue with other humans about sex. Did I, did I like mention what it's called? No. Shit. So all of these wearables that I'm creating are part of an overall like umbrella project that I'm referring to as Shibon or Shibone. Probably Shibone. Shibone. Kind of like the French word that means good. Or just the word bone. Sensing and indicating female arousal. Easier said than done, right? Women don't have as clear-cut, obvious indicators of their arousal as, say, men do. I mean, there's, like, blushing, and if you're really, like, far along in the game, there's, like, the whole moisture factor that goes on down in the nether region. But other than that, there isn't anything that's just telltale. We have to kind of verbally communicate, or uh, physically communicate, to uh, possible mates or suitors whether or not we are interested in them sexually. I figured I would riff on this and create some things that make it a little bit more obvious. So the heart of all the individual peripherals is a circuit board that looks like a heart and is going to live inside of a shiny red plastic heart-shaped backpack that I'm going to wear on my back. And I'm referring to this thing as the pulse pack. So this is going to be the board that provides the power and some of the data to all the individual peripherals once they're made. So wires are going to be sprouting out of the backpack and going to all different parts of my body. Like my head and my arms and my thighs and my buns and my nips and my neck and anything else that I can think of. Uh, right now on the current version of the board there's nine individual ports that can potentially go to different areas of the body. So each augment is going to focus on one, maybe two, biological signs. And once a certain threshold is reached, uh, something will happen, something will trigger. And depending on where the augment is located, um, I get to decide exactly how that's going to manifest. And that's the fun part. Well, in a passive state, I want all of these augments to look fairly innocuous, as in, you can't really tell just by looking at them that they have anything to do with sex. Once they trigger, I kind of want them to do so in a way that might be awkward and uncomfortable, but I want it to also kind of be beautiful, honest, and relatable at the same time. So far, I have developed one augment. I was laying in bed one morning, kind of dozing, and I remember thinking to myself, God, like right now I could just use a pussy whisperer. Two seconds later, as my mind started kind of like tearing away the layers of abstraction to that statement, I like leaped up out of bed and ran into my workroom, got a pair of calipers and started measuring my, my pelvic bone. <laughs> Over the period of that week, I uh, ended up creating what I'm now calling the beatbox, but it is essentially something that can pick up on my heart rate and then whisper to my vagina at a volume equal to my heart rate. So as my blood starts pumping, there will actually be a speaker down there in my nether region whispering nonsense into my lady parts, which needless to say produces a vibration as a byproduct. So there's going to be some feedback loop being created by this device in and of itself. Uh, the point of the beatbox and all the other peripherals as well are uh, not to serve as tools of stimulation or arousal. They're merely meant to indicate arousal. However, once the uh, indication starts happening, if the indicator happens to further stimulate the wearer as a byproduct, that is okay. And that is where the uh, creativity and the engineering kind of plays in. So far in my development uh, for the beatbox, I have come up with the first actual chassis that facets to the pelvic bone and contains the, uh, it's, a, it's an op amp speaker SD card reader, which uh, holds a wave file that's filled with all of my friends' crazy whispers. Touches. and um, LEDs, because that thing totally lights up. And then additionally, there's a brain board running the entire show, which I have designed and dubbed the Phileo. It's a cross section of salmon, and it goes inside of the uh, crotch box, which does effectively look kind of like a filet of fish. Anyhow, 
I'll probably do more of a technical update next, but I just wanted to get you guys kind of familiar with where my head is at this spring and, I don't know, kind of ease you into it. So, as always, keep making awesome stuff out there and thank you for watching.